everyone, Jesse here. Wanted to do an update on the uh, $100 aquaponics system. As you can see, it's been running for a few weeks now. Everything's dialed in. Um, I have water that's going into each tank. Let's see here if I can take this off. Got plenty of bread in there for the uh, random minnows. Uh, one thing I did add you can see is bricks in each one. I had some leftover clay bricks. They have holes in the bricks so that the uh, fish kind of get a break from all the water if they want. They get protection, you know, under those. This one's pretty high up. Um, a bunch of fish can go in there and, and kind of feel protected because something with the minnows, they like to kind of jump out of the system. Uh, they like to jump if they don't have something covering over them. So we have some random water plants. I have no idea what these are called. Um, this I found in the ground, in the lawn, and it's mint. Uh, so mint is a great plant to start growing in the water. It's just as phenomenal. Uh, but overall, we have the pond pump down there. It's a 500 gallon pond pump. Uh, this is three quarter inch pipe. So the there is a three quarter inch male fitting that is going on the pump. That goes to that pipe, goes to a three quarter inch T, up to the elbow, which is going to another three quarter inch, uh, female to male, which is just on a standard hose bib. And this we control how fast the water is going in and out of this grow bed. Let's see if I can show you. So for this particular one, that's how fast it's going. Um, in here, we have an inner pipe, uh, a three-quarter inch pipe. It's covered by this two-inch pipe with a cap on top. Um, all this stuff so far has not been glued. This two-inch pipe has holes at the very bottom of it, and that allows it to, as soon as the inner pipe, that three-quarter inch pipe, uh, the water level gets over that, it'll start a suction and it'll start pumping out there. So this will turn on and off, just um, depending on how quickly this bed fills up, it'll go, the water level will go all the way to, I don't know, I probably have it a couple inches or so. So it'll go all the way to whatever the, lo the water level is and then it'll drain all the way to the bottom. Um, the other line of PVC pipe it's just going out this way, it's taking all that excess pressure because we only have a tiny bit of water that's going into this grow bed. So we have two holes that are just drilled in this pipe, give some aeration to that tank, which I have some fish in, some little minnows. And then we have it go to this T, to an, another pipe with an end cap, three quarter inch end cap, and two holes in that one. And then the excess pressure is regulated by this ball valve. So that can, I, I had to cap it off a little bit, restrict it a little bit, just so that we'd have some back pressure to keep this aerating um, at a good, good pace. The water levels between all three totes are controlled by these, um, I don't know, I want to call them auto siphons or U siphons, uh, but basically these are glued one inch PVC pipe just two angles and then you connect them. Uh, if the water level gets higher on this one, it puts pressure on that to put more water into that tank and vice versa. The only thing that you have to do is eliminate any air in those pipes. So what I've done in the past is I've taken that pond pump, I'll push a bunch of water up through here, it'll eliminate the air and start that auto siphon. So I have one right there, one right there, and one right there. So those have been functioning flawlessly for the past couple weeks. Um, every once in a while I'll just run the pump through there again, see if I can clear out any bubbles that have popped in or, or whatnot. I'm getting a siphon. Here I have a siphon. Um, 
So I just have like a fuel siphon from home or from Walmart. But I'm getting some little valves uh, that basically don't let air go back into this. So we'd stick it up the pipe, we'd start the siphon, and uh, no air can go up through there. It'll just go out one way. So I'm hoping that'll be a, a better solution, then I don't have to unscrew that and whatnot. So some of the items that are growing in this, um, this is just clay hydrotone pebbles, super light. I have, uh, this is sweet potato rooting out, as you can see. Let me see if I can get that back in there. Without breaking it too much. So sweet potato, I just wanted to make some slips. Um, this is some random plant that has a really big red flower on it. See if there's roots producing at this. This has been in here for uh, a couple weeks now. Here's a dead one. But this one looks pretty good. And looks like it might be trying to root. I'm not sure if it's actually gonna do anything. I'm gonna put it up a little bit more. And I'm just um, experimenting with random plants. Uh, this is Kang Kong. I just put the seeds in there and this is growing. This is rosemary. Rosemary is really easy to propagate in aquaponics. Got some roots on some of these. Looks like some stuff's dying, so maybe I'll move that up a little bit as well. Uh, this is a tomato cutting, and this is doing really well. Uh, this is a pothos plant. It looks like it's doing pretty good. If I just pull up lightly on it, it must have roots in there. This is an indoor plant, so I was surprised that it survived out here in the heat. And then we have another uh, mint plant that's doing good as, as well. So overall the system's running great. Um, primarily I use it to propagate new plants. Then I'll pot those up and sell those or put them somewhere. If you had elderberry or thornless blackberry, you could put that in here and do it really well. So with that, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for seeing the update on this simple 